hello and welcome guys hope you are doing great and yes today is the first january of 2024 so happy new year to everyone and hope you are enjoying at your place and celebrating this first day of this new year so today we will be discussing around the backups and restore functionality available in Moodle yes you can perform the backups uh, in multiple way uh, in Moodle you can take a course level backup you can take site level backup activity level backup and of course the server level backup you already have this option you can if you are using AWS server Azure or any other you can take the backup of complete server and this back and backup can be automated and also this one can be automated okay so what considered as a complete backup if you are taking your code backup that means your Moodle code directory then you are taking backup backup of your Moodle data and you have backup of your data that means you have your complete backup but in a single way if you want to keep the backup then you will have to take this server backup like you uh, whichever server you are using that means your project is hosted upon you can take that word backup and that itself this one is will be enough because this will combine all this so let let's get started with the backups and see some options how we can use in Moodle so here I am on this page under site administration under courses tab here you can see the backup options so general backup default generic generally import default automatic automated backup setup click, click on this option so you can automate your backups here you can enable this one you'll have to pick this enable and this this one basically will work on this scheduler scheduler means this is a cron job that will be scheduled on the basis of your selected criteria suppose you are selecting on sunday you want on every sunday every tuesday wednesday each day you want but in case you want to skip any day you can also uncheck this okay now you can put here is the time so this backup will be performed at which time so you will have to uh, specify the time here okay let me make it 5 30 now the automated backup storage so if you put this backup it will be considered as a course backup and this will be coming by default as a selected for you but in key and let me show you where this course backup will go so i am opening this in a new tab here course reuse and you see here restore so at the time of restoring your all backup will be considered will come here okay so if you are taking the course backup will be added here in the queue we will also i will also show you uh, an example of uh, backup that is already i have set up for uh, for an lms so that we will have clear idea okay so this course backup file area will be coming here okay course backup area will be coming under this but in case you want to keep a specified directory for automated backup you can also specify here okay for example you want to put here okay under where www then backup will go there but in case you want the both place like the courses backup file area and that a specified path you can also do that okay in my case if this one is a server path then i will have to create this directory got it then maximum number of backup kept for example this backup will be running as a scheduler uh, every day except this wednesday as 
as per my selected criteria so how many backup we want to keep for each course okay so i want the backup of each course five backups that means for the same course you will you will see here the five backups but if it is going to take uh, execute on the six days your oldest one be will be deleted from here automatically will be deleted got it and again if the other day it will up, uh, execute then another oldest one will be deleted so it will keep only five but if you select here the 10 you can go up to 1 to 500 as per their uh, model 4.3 default setting now delete older back delete backups older than in case you don't want to delete the backup it will not be deleted but if you want to delete you can delete this one okay so let's see this maximum number of backup kept this is specify the maximum number of recent automated backup to be core to be kept for each course older backup will be deleted automatically as i explained you so delete backup older than this so i want to delete a uh, 10 days older backup minimum number of backup kept in uh, these are uh, these three settings are interrelated to each other in case you want to keep the minimum number if you are not picking anything you can just let it be never or none okay now use course name in a backup file name so whenever it will create a backup do you want to include the mm, the course name into the backup file name if you want to include you will have to uh, check this checkbox skip course not modify since so in case you want to skip the course in this backup that is not modify from last 10 days 5 days you can pick date from here okay i don't want to take backup that is not most uh, not modified from last uh, 3 days for example any course that is modify uh, before 5 day it and that will not be considered ad, uh, under this automated backup skip courses not modified since previous backup for example if we have a, a setup and backup is already taken but that course is not modified after that particular backup so in this case if you check this one that will also be skipped got it now so whenever you come to taking a backup it will also be asking for the other setting like if this course is have some participant already there do you want to include that participant if you want you will have to check this one. so by default it will be yes do you want to include all role assignments all activity or resources including blocks files so these are settings so let it be whatever is coming but in case you want any specific settings you can adjust these settings okay so click this save and change now as i told you you will have to create this directory okay but in my case th this is not uh, there so that is why it will give you the error okay so right now i cannot create the directory there i don't have access this time but you but i will show you in the end how you can uh, create this one okay so for now i am going to pick this only course backup file and i am going to delete this got it so this path will be also verified during these settings if you are giving this wrong one it will not be accepting and and your form will not be saved now it is saved okay so how you can verify the backups once it is running automated and everything is working as per your schedule it should come here so to verify you will have to come under report section 
so under report you will find backups so click on it and you will see here the backup your backup course name time taking how much how many seconds it take in backup a status and the next planned backup it will be appearing here okay now let's move to a, a live example so now i am under a live instance that is currently working and coming to uh, a demo where i have set up a automated backup and let's check that how it is working so as i told you you will have to come under courses then the uh, automated backup setup and you see it is enabled and it is enabled on all these days and it works it executed at uh, 50 okay 12:50 am and i have uh, chosen here the course backup and the specify path yes you see here i had created a directory here under this path and that's why it is uh, marking here as a correct and you see as in video if you specify here the wrong path it will be giving you the error here okay you you have already have discussed about all these settings now moving to see how you can see the backup under reports so if you come to this reports then under reports you see here the backups now you can see the backup like this okay so international business you can see this backup was taken uh, on first gen today itself in night at 12 50 am and you can see here okay backup has been taken and the next plan backup is to second gen this one will be showing your course name uh, the time taken at what time backup has been taken then this one is a this is a range basically the time taking it it uh, it could not take or uh, it has taken less than a minute so that's why it is showing in time range got it but if something is not lying between your criteria if you have chosen the criteria and the course is being skipped in this case you, you see the status here is skipped so most of these courses you see they skip and due to some reason you uh, backup was not taken in this case you will see automated backup pending that means during that time uh, the backup was pending due to some reason you will also see if i go to any courses to see the backup how you can see let me come to this testing purpose then this you can go to view you can go to course reuse again go to restore and here you can see automated backup section okay so it will not be coming under your course backup it will be coming under your automated backup so the last backup was taken 20th december okay and it has been skipped due to some criteria that's why it is not taken because today is the first chain of 24 okay if i come to any other course i can also see that get started then this course reuse reset oops restore and yes i can see this backup okay so this is how this automated backup will work so please try this at your end and let me know in case you see any challenges thank you thank you for watching and